Slow up when we roll up. It's a hold up. You'll need to focus on this in slow mo. It's a promo. Take a photo. Welcome to the TLTF uh, YouTube channel. This is where we will be posting um, all the races for the TLTF team, as well as any updates on wheels that we will have. Um, Starting with this first video, we're going to go over the difference between the 12-spoke wheels for indoors, as those are the most important wheels as of right now for the 2022 season, and a couple updates that we have for you guys going into the 2022 season. So let's get started. So first thing, we're only going to focus on the 12-spoke Q7 yellow core and the Q7.5 blue core. This is because um, TLTF will only be making these two wheels, the 12 spokes to sell. That is one of the changes we will be having in the 2022 year. Um, and don't get too upset because these wheels are amazing. There will be a lot more information on that later down the road in 2022. So another change for Emerald Coast. Don't know if it's temporary yet or if it's going to be permanent. And as of right now for uh, Emerald Coast, they're only going to be the yellow core but there are, they are going to be in Q7, Q7.5. It's just going to have a different print. And as you can see, this has a purple print at the moment. And Q7.5s will have a different color print. I think we're going to go with blue for it. So it kind of resembles, you know, the blue hub for the Q7.5s with the blue print. Uh, I will keep, keep you guys updated. Uh, more information on that. So as of Emerald Coast, all the wheels will have a yellow core. That does not mean they're all going to be Q7s. There are going to be Q7.5s. They are going to have a different um, print than purple for the Q7.5s. So getting into the differences between the Q7 and the Q7.5s. Basically, the only difference is the urethane. Same hub, the or same core, just different color cores. The dual port is the same as well. DP18. Just with the Q7.5, the urethane is a little bit harder, so you get a little bit more roll. And compared to the Q7.5s, the Q7s are just a little bit softer. Um, like I said in previous videos, this is like the sweet spot wheel for me. Just enough roll, just enough um, grip as well. But these new Q7.5s growing on me every time I wear them. Um, I myself usually mix the wheels together. Uh, it depends on the floor. I may go toe... Um, middle and like flip it this way um sometimes we'll just have the yellow on the outside blue in the middle it really depends on the floor i do recommend this for people who love roll and want just to give a little bit up on the grip but i to be honest i don't feel like i'm giving up on grip at all so i do recommend this was a lot for people who love the roll for people who feel more comfortable with grip uh, I do recommend the yellow core i recommend that for most of my skaters when first starting out they ask me should i get when they uh should i get the blues should i get the yellows i always recommend starting out with the yellows and if you think you want a little bit more roll you can go up make some blues if you think you even need more roll just put all blues on that's what i recommend for the skaters on my team when they ask me about it so oh, that is all um some of the changes being made just from the coast again I'm only going to have the yellow cores, but we'll have Q7, Q7.5s. It'll just have a different color labeling. Again, we think we're, thinking we're going to go with blue for that. Just kind of resemble like the blue core. So that is all I have for this video. Make sure to stay updated on the TLTI Facebook page, which I have linked down below, for um, updates about wheels for Emerald Coast and pre-ordering the wheels. We will make that post soon of when the wheels will be available for pre-order for Emerald Coast, as well as... Um, stay tuned for more content here on the TLTF Manufacturing YouTube page. And also, we have a lot of exciting new things coming for the 2022 season. Um, this is the first year we're really having a team put together with Colton Miller, Jalen Godin, Paige Dawson, Hannah Herring, uh, Speedy Castle, as well as myself, uh, kind of being... The veteran on the team i'm super super excited to have all these amazing and talented skaters on the team this year and i can't wait to see what we all do together again stay tuned for what we have in store it's a lot of stuff uh, for tltf for 2022 thank you for watching